Are you serious? <laughs> This is so dreamy. Go, keep that. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa, and welcome back to my channel. So if you've watched my last six Croatia videos, you would know that after a long, complicated journey, I finally reunited with my long distance boyfriend in Croatia after 10 months of being apart. We spent most of the time self-isolating in our Airbnb and split due to obvious reasons, but we did get to have some social distance adventures on the weekends. We explored the city of Split, Kiska National Park, Havar Island, Sudvice Lakes National Park, and empty Dubrovnik, and on the following week, we decided to take a weekend trip to the island of Vis from Split, which would lead us to now. Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Croatia vlog. It is now Thursday, November 26th. So it's almost been about three weeks since I have been staying in Split Croatia. And this vlog is just going to be another beachy day in Split. And maybe we'll even take a ferry to the island of Vis today. I can't really extend summer much longer. It is pretty cold still, but it's still warm enough to go in for a quick dip. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So before we head out, I just wanted to quickly mention how I know that I've been wearing the same sweater in like every video. But to be honest, this is the only like medium thick sweater that I brought on this trip and I honestly love it. So I don't really care if I'm an outfit repeater. So without further ado, let's get going. I think Christian is finishing up some like work inside and then we're gonna head out. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go! So we are at the base of Marion right now, which is the big, beautiful park and split that we first visited two weeks ago. And we also just bought a ticket to the island of Vis for the next two days, which I'm super excited about. Our ferry leaves this evening. It is such a beautiful day that it almost makes me not want to leave the city. We're almost at the beach. Wait, can we swim off of this? It's so beautiful here. I didn't expect you to just jump in. It's so cold, oh. I can't go up for it. She's so Hey guys, so it's been a couple hours since the beach and we have just arrived in Vis at a new Airbnb. It is so cute guys. It is so much larger than our Airbnb and split. We've got an oven this time, the shower here, some food, and it's just really pretty earthy decorations. And then up the stairs, I haven't even gone upstairs yet, is the cute little bed. This is so cute. How do you turn this on? So cute. I love it. 
This is basically our home for the next two days. We just took a ferry here. It was a two hour ferry ride. Um, and I think I'm gonna just shower. I haven't showered from the beach yet. And go to bed, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oops. It's sunny. Good morning from Vis, everyone. We had a long night's sleep in our beautiful temporary abode and now we're gonna finally go out and explore the island. I'm a nerd so we're gonna try to spot out some Mamma Mia spots because a lot of the scenes were shot here. We're just excited to go out and see the sunshine and walk around. Also today is the last day that restaurants and cafes are open in Croatia in general so we're gonna try to take advantage of that and have like a last day of eating out tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right, so we just went to the church, but we've just been enjoying the nice view and walking around. I really want to hitchhike and get to the beautiful beach. Christian doesn't think it's a good idea because we might lose some time in the sun, but it's really warm. I was wearing like three layers earlier and I took it off. And now we're just gonna continue on our walk and maybe go swimming here. I think. <laughs> I wanna go to the other beach. After debating on whether or not we had the time to visit the beach, we decided to try and find a rental car to explore the island. But first, I couldn't help but take some pictures in the plaza next door where they apparently filmed yep. Mamma Mia too. Alright guys, we are now in a vehicle. Christian is driving the stick because I sadly do not know how. Because we really wanted to go to these other places on the island and it would have been a trek to walk. We luckily found one rental place that was open and the guy was so nice. What's his name again? Mado, Mado. Mado, and he Mado. is a legend. He also apparently drove around the crew of Mamma Mia when they filmed because he does the wine tours and the military tours. So now we are on our way to Steniva Beach. It is about 2 p.m. so we're gonna try to catch the sunset. trying to do like a mini hike down to the beach. We're struggling a little bit because it's kind of rocky. Christian's being a gentleman and helping me down because I am short-legged. And yeah, we still have a long kind of way to go. no one else around all right we are about to arrive we're here you want to swim here should we do it okay let's do it <laughs> amazing thing ever. We just quickly got changed. I'm freezing my buttocks off. I just hope that there is a heater in the car because 
It was pretty cold when we got out, but the water just felt so, so nice. After our amazing solo swim at Teneva Beach, we hiked back up the steep rocks and drove toward sunset. Mado, the tour guide who rented us the old red Citroen car that day, had given us a pretty thorough weekend itinerary. From Geneva Beach, we followed the marked map towards Hum, a mountain that dominates the western end of Vis. This is so dreamy. If you follow the signs, you'll be able to park your car and walk up towards Civic Do Chapel, where you can spot the jaw-dropping views over Comisa. I have seen a miracle. Blessed days with you in the corner of my arm. I have seen a miracle. I have seen a miracle. The sun. We have arrived in Comisa and it is so beautiful. The sky is blue. So we are back in Feast, decided to dress up today um, to go out to eat dinner because it is the last night that we can do that. I on the other hand didn't dress up. It's fine, you look good. Well, yeah, we went to a grocery store on the way back to get some juice and things and now we're gonna head out. Amazing great. We're at a bougie fish restaurant. The chef is gonna bring us some fish to see at the table, which is not something that we're used to, but this is super, super nice. No one's really here right now. Good morning, everyone. Today is our last morning in Nevis. Our ferry leaves at three, and we are currently just Packing up for our last day, we still have the rental car, so we're gonna go check out some other locations while we can. Today is definitely a gloomier day. Christian is just finishing packing up, getting all of our stuff ready to go back to Split. Turn it around. Don't like this. Yeah, just. There's something about small islands that make them so charming. Maybe it's the fact that you can chase the sunset within a one hour radius, the local people, or the feeling of peaceful isolation that can't be replicated on any mainland. Whatever it is, I absolutely fell in love with Feast. That? Yeah. We are at Srebrenica Beach right now and it is so beautiful. We are the only ones here on this white or silver pebble beach and the sun just came out. Look at that water. I'm currently walking towards this cross to try to get a good view of the beach and it just looks so pretty here. Being able to even come to Croatia for a month during a pandemic was obviously a privilege and it definitely felt strange being one of the only tourists on the island. However, having the island to ourselves also made me think about the importance of slow travel and the selfish and introverted part of me was dreading what it will be like once the energy gets louder. I've learned that sustainability and travel does not have to be mutually exclusive. 
For me, slow travel means staying longer in the place that I'm in and to let go of that bucket list mentality that just leads to unauthentic moments and well, crowded tourist hotspots. By having no expectations and living like a local as much as you can for an extended period of time, you will get more out of it and everything will feel more novel. After getting back to Split that night, we woke up the following morning and decided to have a chill Sunday in the nearby town of Tolu. I wasn't really planning on filming this, but here are a couple of clips from that day in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. We walked through the old town along the harbor, ate some pastries, and basked in the fall sun right before December rolled around. Thank you so much for watching, hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you want to see more content, and I'll catch you in the next video!